I was going to go into something else there, but I'm not. Okay. Hello, everybody. How's it going? It's Tara from The Biscuit Box. We're live once again on Wednesday at 11 o'clock. Apologies for last week. Bowie was sick and thank you so much for all the emails and messages and posts and all the loveliness that you showed to me last week. Um, um, I know a lot of you guys are uh, are juggling family with your businesses and your creativity as well and you guys got it. So thank you so much. Big love heart to you guys over understanding my absence last week. But he's great now and, um, and I'm really happy to be back on live with you today because I'm excited about this person that I'm bringing on. And I haven't talked to anybody on the Biscuit Box in quite a while, actually. And I love talking to other people. And I know you guys love listening to other people and what they're doing with their skill set. And this lady is super interesting and very inspirational. Um, and we're going to dive in to talk to Elle Aqua today. And Elle... You know what? She does so many things, so many wonderful things for people and animals, but we're going to focus on the people today. Um, and Elle is going to tell us a little bit. First, we'll say hi to Elle. Hi, Elle. Hello. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> um, and it's lovely to have you this morning, Elle. Um, and so I just want to give um, people a little overview of, of what you do. Maybe you'd like to tell us an overview of actually sure. what you do that we bring sure. yes so i run ellie's natural wellness here in middleton cork and i am a crystal reiki and angel energy healing practitioner so it's three treatments three practices into one and i do one-to-one -one private treatments with people and i also run groups so meditation groups and i also run workshops so think positivity crystals meditations affirmations and just huge energy boosting in those workshops and groups and the one to one sessions as well brilliant like and it's it's an area that i have huge interest in because i see the benefit of self care and working on ourselves as yeah. The, the energy and the, um, the the passion behind our creative work and how when that isn't strong or there's shit going on, it really affects everything, doesn't it? Yes. So you, you can work, say, one-to-one -one with somebody. And I love the group. The group yes. And where do you do the group stuff, actually? I have to move back to Cork. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. I'm expanding around Ireland. Tara. Oh, good woman. I good run woman. my groups here in my space in Cork at a Pona retreat. It's another place in Cork. I'm going to be doing them in the West Grove Hotel in Clane and Kildare. And I'm going to be doing them in Sligo as well um, in a wellness studio up there. So, yeah, I'm moving out. You're of traveling. I love that. Yay. I love bringing it to the people. You see, I love that. I love that. That's awesome. Um, so maybe after this uh, this chat, we you might put some information on those retreats and workshops in the thread below for people yeah. that are watching the live and even watching the replay as well. The the replay. Um, so what I'd love you to uh share with us today um and i know you've you work with a lot of people and um, that come to you either one-to-one -one or, or via the, the workshops and, and i know there's lots of different ways you yeah. you have people but i'd love to i'd love to zone in on maybe three kind yeah. of types of things that people come to you with like their problems and challenges yes and how you help them and that yeah. you might give some um tips and tricks to people watching that might feel oh yeah that's me and how yeah. and, and that would be amazing yeah sure no problem so the reason people come to me is they want to realize their potential and become the best version of themselves and they'll come because there is things blocking them from doing that three of the main things i'll talk about today the first one is fear so when a person is afraid of being true to their creative self they're afraid of failure they're afraid of criticism so particularly artists have had come to me in this in this area and they they're afraid to do their work to live their dream to actually implement it and what happens is when when they come to me and we do one-to-one -one sessions we tailor them and we look at releasing those fear blocks 
So we go inside them and we connect their heart, their mind and their soul. So if you think of it like a GPS system inside in Utara, if it's not connected, where's your focus? Your focus and energy is all going up to your fear. So we come back down out of the fear. We look to release that negative energy, the doubts, the insecurities, the worries, and we use energy healing to do that. So we're bringing, in a nutshell, bringing the body into balance, wellness, and harmony, and releasing the fears. And this is it, artists go then. And, and they, they get that empowerment, that passion it ignites that energy that confidence that joy in the work so they feel the fear and they actually go and do something about it and you see those results to you yeah. like, like immediately like after a session so, so what i'll do is generally people will come for three treatments or they'll come for one and we look at what works for for them okay so maybe it's affirmations and recorded meditations that's going to work for you going forward in releasing those fear-based blocks maybe it's coming to me for one-to-one -one sessions but we or it could be email support mm -hmm. so word stuff pieces that you can read and uplift and help you release but it's all about tailoring it to what works for you in releasing those negative blocks yeah and I actually was talking to someone yesterday just on the affirmation yes. subject. Um, and I'm a big believer in talk. Well, I always talk to myself like, <laughs> but I'm a, big, I'm a big believer in talking um, lovingly to yourself and, um, and, and just you know repeating yes. the things that you want like and not going oh god i'll never do that or that's too hard or and i really think and i guess that's the same kind of thing isn't it that affirmation thing explain explain affirmations to someone that mightn't even know what that does or what it is actually I'll be allergic to the word like some people come they're like i don't know <laughs> an example of how I talk to myself every day so when I'm getting dressed and I'm in the shower in the morning and if you took away from today two things I choose and I am it's actually coming out of the want and the wishing and the fear so mm. I choose love I choose success in all areas of my life I choose abundance I choose to express myself truthfully and my creativity it's I choose and I am Okay. If they're such powerful affirmations. And, and so you'd say that like in the shower in the morning, you'd yeah. say, I choose, I choose success today. I'm yeah. going to nail that. Like, would you say I'm going to, or would you just I say choose, I, choose, I, choose, I choose an abundance of amazing clients today? I choose amazing connections with the right people on my path today. I am successful. I am abundant. I am love. I am whole. I am complete as I am. I am enough. So it's your like this foundation of energy inside and you're building it up in the morning. You're really, you're harnessing your inner power. OK. And so so that's a cool thing to take away from the chat there of just right. If everybody in the shower, we should do a daily shower affirmation. <laughs> And I sometimes I write it no on videos. our door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't um, care. <laughs> but you know, if you write it on the door of the yeah. shower, I I am going to. Like, is that a bad thing, Elle, to say I'm going to? Or is so, that like I'm going to? I'm wishing I want. It's in the future, so it's like it's always away from you. Ah. Whereas if you choose it now, believe it that it's actually happening now. Oh, okay. So even if the abundance of, of, of money or love or creativity isn't flowing in, believe it like it's happening now. Okay, in the present rather right than now. future all the time. Shit, that's the mistake I'm making. Okay, I love that. Okay, I choose, I am, I choose, I am, shower. Right, that's the first thing I'm going to do, <laughs> Elle. <laughs> okay, so the, sec so the second, <laughs> second one. one. The second one I'd look at today is... I have, and it happens a lot of women more than men. That's just maybe just the business I'm in. It's when they come to me and they're disconnected from their creativity, right? So it can be due to family problems, relationship problems, dramas. And what happens is the stress and anxiety and overwhelmingness builds up inside of them and almost that fear to go back to their work. They, they feel so disconnected from it because they've been become absorbed in the situations and people around them so it's actually reconnecting them to their inner self again 
reconnecting them to their creativity. Again, that confidence, that fire, that passion, that energy inside them, bringing it back to self. And we do the same, the one-to-one -one treatments, the meditations, the affirmations, the whole lot, but connecting back into that creativity. So what we do is we bring them back to that joy. So I had one girl who came to me and I said, just just practice it. Just go and enjoy what you do. Forget about selling it for now. Forget about the business for now. Just actually go and connect with it in the enjoyment part. And she is now selling them in galleries again. OK, mm. it's just that disconnection happened and it's to get it back and then flow with it after that. So, so, ex so external things in your life. Yeah such an impact on the huge, flow of your creation huge, so. Huge. so where are you giving your energy to this yeah. is what i'll ask people like are they yeah. giving it away to drama to situations mm. or are they harnessing it inside them who's surrounding you what mm. people are surrounding you right now are they positive motivating uplifting are they on your vibration are they in your field are you looking to collaborate with people or are you surrounded by drainers and negativity yeah. And we have to be we have to be honest, Tara, if we're yeah. all going to harness that potential and, and realize what we want to realize. Oh, I think. And that's such a huge one. Like, I mean, that's why Biscuit is here that, and the community and, and even, you know, like I say this inside the Biscuit Factory every day that, you know, surround yourself with yeah. people that get yeah. what you do. And some people are on different paths than yeah. others you to respect yeah. that as well. Yeah. Like. Yes. But I think when you're in a creative field, more than any other field, I think yes. it's so connected to yourself yes. that if you don't bring it back and harness that, you're screwed. Like everything yeah. gets affected, doesn't it? And when you're listening to the people going, why are you doing that? Get a real job. Why are you doing that for? Yeah. You get believing it. Of course you would. It's so important to... Um, Surround yourself with like-minded people. Definitely. It changes everything, doesn't everything. it? Everything. And I, I just, you know what I ask people is like, look at yourself like a foundation, right? And your foundation begins on your own truth, your motivation. you got to be your biggest encourager, your biggest support, your biggest motivator, honest and focused with yourself. And then surround yourself with the same. Mm. Because all the encouragement in the world, if that's landing in on, on like you don't have your own encouragement then it's wobbly and weak foundation so that you got to have your strong inner foundation and surround yourself with the strength around you then yeah and 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 for someone that's affected by that now um yes. is there anything you could just like a tip like you did with the affirmations which i'm definitely going to use like <laughs> after this live <laughs> um, is there anything you could um suggest to somebody to do themselves like that would help them center that or yeah so I, I would say to them is even start affirming to themselves, I am in control of my own happiness. I take back my own power right now. And mm. it's about opening their heart to their own love. So I believe in myself. I believe in what I do. It's affirming to those, those strong beliefs. I love my work. I am now choosing to surround myself. Be honest who's surrounding you. We mm. really have to. Mm. And if it's not all inspiring, then look even at one little change every day, reading, listening, or connecting to someone in your field, one a day, that's 365 changes in a year. 365 little inspirational people you've listened to or connected with. If, if that's all you can do this year, by the end of the year, you will have raised your vibration and raised the positivity around you. And then you're really harnessing that power. I think that's a great point as well, because I feel like that a lot of people are so overwhelmed with yeah. everything. So I have, yeah. to, I have to be creative. I have to be yeah. the mom. I have to be the or the husband. I have to be the business person. Oh, and now I have to fall in love with myself. And, tell, and, it's, and I love that you break it down like that. If you do one little thing every day, that's 300. Yeah. That's great because yeah. you can do that like that's attainable isn't it you know well, like I, I i put you on the windowsill tara and i listen to you while i'm doing the washing up so that's one thing in a day i've listened to someone who inspires me tomorrow yeah. it might be a little bit of music or it could be someone's 30 second video it could be a louise hay affirmation it could be anything that just mm. like nourishes your soul we have to nourish and nurture our mm. heart and our soul not mm. just our mind 
yeah or our or our bodies as yeah. in physical yeah. and going to oh, the gym, yeah. what about your soul you see i love that i love that i think it's so important uh it's great and what's the third thing then the, the, the third one is and this is more as well my experience is people who produce product okay so it was a jewelry designer and another ceramic person that came to me they were giving it all away. So the block to their success in business, the block to their abundance was the self-value was low, self-esteem, self-worth. So they were not recognizing that they were deserving of receiving abundance. They were deserving to be paid for their product, paid for their time. And it brought it back. So lay them on the table and we connect into the heart. That's where I look at there. The self-love, self-esteem, self-worth, the confidence, bringing back that energy into self. We are as valuable as everyone else around us. And we have to put value on our products and service. And I love that. And and just recently, um, that that's a big topic actually in the media at the moment on creative people working for free and people expecting creative work for free. And I think, you know, I had a lengthy conversation with the reporter at the weekend and he and I talked to him about, you know, he was going, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, other oh, businesses shouldn't even ask creative people to work for free. They shouldn't do this. And I'm like, wow. Well, Hang on a second. It has to start with the creative person yes. themselves yes. and the community exactly. to yes. say, well, actually, hang on a second. We are worth it and stop yes. accepting those offers yes. of, you know, if that's applicable to how they want to practice. And I think it's a really important one. And I love yes. that, that, that you can fix, not fix it, but. When we look at we look at it just 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 look at it with the person is bringing it back to their so 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 take a jewelry designer think of all the learning that they've gone into making that all the time all the practice all the experience the cost of the product the cost of advertising themselves it's the same as any other professional and there has to be a worth in that. And when we put a worth and a value on it, I value what I do. I value myself. So it's about setting boundaries and core values. If I was to ask anyone out there today, write some boundaries, write some core values. Where is your self-worth and your self-love at? Bring it back to you. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we deserve we deserve to receive and this is it so this is what i'll say to myself i'm open to receiving abundance mm. i deserve abundance for what i do mm. so i'm choosing it in the now back to i choose and i am but mm. you're bringing it into the deserving and be open to receiving okay so there's just the use of language then yes. around that isn't it like how are you speaking to yourself yeah. this is so important how do we speak to anyone else you know sometimes mm. like I've had to do loads of work to get here today. So yeah. if I spoke to my friends in the past, like I would speak to myself, I'd have no friends, Tara. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You'd be walking around on your own, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really interesting. And I think, I think that it's, a, it's, I think we make, nearly make excuses for people that, um, bring us down as well yes. going after they don't know or yes. is that like a self-sabotaging strategy yes. for keeping um, safe uh, if, if I keep listening to that I'm going to believe it that means I don't have to make that jump into that fearful place which I know yes. I have to go it's killing me not to go there is that do you think it's yeah a, that's like a whole wheel in itself that self-sabotage that inner talk and yeah. also you know very gently if someone is negative or critical of your work it's very you like I return to sender I hand it back to them mm. and just it's a very very simple thing return to sender either out loud politely or mm. in your head mm. everyone is always going to judge and have an opinion Tara they have mm. a right to as a human being we have judgments and opinions okay mm. we don't have to take on anyone else's only what we choose to we're mm. in charge of what we take in and listen to and absorb that's right that's so I respect if someone criticizes me I said, that's okay, I respect your opinion, and I hand it back. I choose not to take it. And there it goes back to that internal narrative. Yes. I choose not yes. to take it. You can have it back, and I've done yes. that recently, and it works. It works. It works. Inner peace, your energy. <laughs> 
feel balanced and you're in your flow and zone. Exactly. And it goes away like that, you know, because it so eats at you and you're, you're how you are. If we like, allow it. Yeah, if exactly. And I love that giving it back. I love it. And it's such a simple thing. You, you kind of think, Jeannie, that'll never work. Like, but it yeah. actually does. It actually does work. And you're <laughs> working every day with your clients, L. Yes. It's really powerful. And it's something everybody, even listening to this, can do right now. Like now, right now. It's so simple, but so simple little things. You know, when I will send on anyone, seriously, you want to contact me and say, help me with some affirmations. I'll send them on. I'll put them up on my pages. Whatever I can do. Yeah. I love helping people, Tara. I love helping them realize their potential, become the best version. And it takes nothing to offer a little bit of help. That's right. And it's a lovely way to live, Elle. It's a lovely way to live. Well, you're in the marketplace, the biscuit marketplace, and that's yes. how I um I dived into what you do as well. And <laughs> uh, someone that bought um one of your uh, products from the marketplace before Christmas was on to me and just said, mm -hmm. You're amazing at what you do. I had to get you on to, to show you off. <laughs> oh, thank, um, you. So thank you for the opportunity. No problem. And keep up the amazing work. And I'm going to share your um your your profile from the Biscuit Marketplace with all your details and your website and everything is on there if, if people want to have a deeper look at what you do. But mm -hmm. But overall, I think, you know, today's takeaway is really about how we talk to ourselves and the power of changing that narrative it can really change your life can't it Elle? and and you know what if when we're in that place of stuckness i compare it to the car at the side of the road when it's broken down and we're aware we're stuck we don't sit there for weeks but sometimes when we're stuck in ourselves we can sit there for a long time mm. we have the power and the control to actually do something about that stuckness so mm. if you know treat quick tips about like how to get through those blocks be honest with yourself um make the changes communicate about it step back from it look at it differently ask for help mm. feel the fear and do something about it listen inspire and connect with people in your field to help you release the stuckness mm. and as well focus so plan and prioritize even setting little intentions little action plans little goals day by day positive ones to yourself it can have a huge impact on releasing anything that's stuck that's preventing you from realizing your potential abundant success in all areas mm. That's brilliant. You're a star. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Elle, for Thank coming. You. Thanks for having me, Tara. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I just want to have a quick, I, I just want to have a quick look actually before we um head off to see who's in with us. There might be people chatting to us and we haven't really looked yet. I've been too engrossed in it. It's so rude. We haven't I know, it's so else. rude, Tara. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, there's a few people in. Hey Breda, hi, how's it going? Hey Enza. Uh, hey Patricia, there's a a, a fellow beauty, um, Patricia yes. Carroll. Um, hey, hey, Car you know Patricia L, do you? I've seen her work. I, I've yet okay. to meet her. Her work oh, is incredible. Incredible. Oh my God, amazing. But you, you, you're definitely cut from the same cloth. I feel the same energy from you both. Hey, Carol Summers, how's it going? Rosemary, nice that you're here. Hey, Verge, how's it going? Lynn McDonald, lovely to see you, Lynn. Um, Ashling Griffin, hey, Ashling, Rosemary, Karen Hickey, hey, Danielle. Oh, there's a few people in this morning and everyone's so happy. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's brilliant. Uh, and everyone's saying, uh, Brida says, thanks, Elle, to you there. <laughs> oh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And Anna's here as well. So there's a few few guys in. Um, so so thank you so much, Elle. Uh, and I hope to meet you at some point in the future. I'd love yes. to get a thing done and treatment. And I know there's so many things you can help me with. And, and so many people and animals as well. I know you do lots of work with animals. But you, if, if you want to know more about Elle, you can dive. I'll leave the link in the comments yeah. below. You can dive into her profile. And you're open for emails and messages, yes. aren't you? For oh, absolutely. Help. Just drop me a question, anything, Abs any way I can help. That's amazing. Thank you so much. And gang, have a great Wednesday and I'll see you live next week at 11 o'clock on the Biscuit Box. Keep creative. Thanks, Emil. Bye, Elle. Thanks, Tara. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.